This is one of the created dashboards in SAS for a gaming industry. We have here the player ratings dashboard which contains information on the play of the patrons according to the report month, report year, game type which is slot or table. We also have club level and three other fields that the user can choose from. Aside from these three fields, the user can also filter these three indicators, this targeted bar chart, the bubble plot, and the spark table at the bottom. By selecting the club level on the spark table at the upper left. The spark table contains the summary of the patrons by club level. They have here the win-loss amount and uh, their average bid. Let's say we click on the Players Club. Then the three indicators will only show information on the Players Club. This targeted bar chart shows the chips coin in and out amounts. The bar chart shows the chips coin out amount while the target is the chips coin in amount. We also have here the bubble pad showing the relationship of average bet and the win loss amount. The size of the bubble is the number of games played. We can see from here that most of the players stay for more than two hours and above, but has a low win loss amount, but with high average bet. If we compare this to players who only stay for 21 to 40 minutes we can see that they have a lesser number of games played but a higher win loss amount and a lesser average bet we also have here the rest of the information on the play of the patrons for each of the category. This is the minutes played. We also have here the pie chart which shows the top 10 state by the number of games played according to the report month, report year, and game type only. So this is the top 10 state by number of games played for table. And then we also have the tile chart which shows the distribution on the number of games played by game code. So the size of the tiles is uh, the number of games played by the patrons while the color of the tiles show the win-loss amount. We can see from here that um, the black chuck has the most number of games played while Let It Ride and Pygo are the less games played. And then the color of the tile shows if the win-loss amount is above target, on target, or below target. We can also change the game type to slot. And then maybe select the players club again. And now we can see that those players staying for two years and above has the most number of games played, has the highest win lost amount and the highest average bet. Looking at the table a while ago, our highest win lost amount is um, the category 21 to 40 minutes. But here, the 21 to 40 minutes is lesser than those who are staying for two hours and above, as well as the win loss amount and the average bet. We can also see the other information for each of the category on this part table and the pie chart, the top 10 state by the number of games played for the slot game. 
and the tile chart for the game code of the slot. We can see from here that Game King is the most has the most number of games played. And since slot has so many different game codes, we can just highlight one small tile and know that one of the game code that has a low number of games played is triple hot eyes and again the color of the tiles shows if we are above below or on target aside from the player ratings dashboard we also have the slot and table dashboard for the slot dashboard It was the uh, top slot games by coin in we can select the slot games from this drop down and maybe select video then it will show us the top slot games for the video by coin in again this report is also filtered according to the report month and the report year this park table is ordered is has a descending order by coin in and if we select one of the game description let's say the game king the kpis for the theo and actual win and the coin in and coin out will be shown we can see from here that our actual win and theoretical win are on target while our coin in and coin out amounts are below target the spark table at the bottom shows the top and bottom five slot units by selecting on which field to sort the slot units so let's say we sort the slot units by the number of plays, number of games played. Then it will show us which units are top and bottom five. We have here the five card instant bingo, which is located on 4210. We also have bonus frenzy as the top five located in 5204 for the bottom five we have tabasco located at 2304 and monster lock located at 5605 it will also sh uh, show us the other information on that slot units we have the coin in coin out the jackpot soft drop hard drop fields and mean let's try if we sort by win then our top slot units are mega box penny located in 7608 mega box penny free spin located at 7607 and so on in our bottom five our flame of olympus which is located in 3803 until Mono monopoly own it all located at 4001 and again we have the other information on the slot units then we also have the table dashboard again this is filtered according to the report month and the report year This spark table shows uh, the table games summary. This is sorted by uh, win in descending order. We have the block chalk having the highest win amount. Then if we select one of these table games here, let's say we select block chalk.
then the KPIs for actual and theoretical win and the headcount will appear. We can see from here that the actual and theoretical win are above target and the headcount as well. Let's say we select um, Texas Hold'em. We can see that our headcount is below target with only 280 and our actual and theoretical win are also below target. Aside from these KPIs, when selecting on the spark table, the top and bottom tables by feet will also be filtered accor according to this table game. Let's say we select roulette. Then it will show us the top uh, table tables and the bottom tables by feet. We have here the table number and the feet. And then let's try again a black check. Then we can see from here the table number and again by the feet. If we select um, one of the feet, then it will show us the trend of uh, the hand count over time for the last three months. Since this is this report is for September 2009, we will start from July until the end of September. And let's say we want to know the head count for P1. Then we also have here the trend over time for the last three months. And that's it. Thank you for watching.